welcome back to our discussion we are looking at constituents of matter and we are required to define the components of matter that is we define an element we define a compound and a mixture we begin with the element We define an element as a substance. An element is a substance. A substance which cannot, which cannot be split into anything simpler. by any chemical means two we have a uh, part b which is a compound remember an element and a compound are pure substances so a compound is a substance is a substance made up of made up of two or more elements which are chemically combined which are chemically combined meaning for a compound to be formed the elements combining must be chemically combined and for us to chemically combine two or more elements to form a compound heat is usually involved then we go to c c we define a mixture which we have always defined and a mixture is defined as the physical the physical combinations the physical combinations of two or more elements or compounds or compounds and these elements or compounds are not chemically combined are not chemically combined that means the components of the mixture do not change but instead retain their physical identity we move to the next questions we have uh, identified the following substances as either mixture, a compound, or an element. We have already defined an element as anything that cannot be split into any simpler material by any chemical means. We have defined a compound as a substance that is made up of two or more elements which are chemically combined. We have also defined a mixture as the physical combination of two or more elements in which the individual elements do not change. So we identify if the following are either a mixture, compound or an element. One, we have sand and water. Sand and water form a mixture. We have maize and beans. Remember, maize and beans again give us a mixture. We have an ink. An ink also gives us a mixture. We have common salt. Common salt is a compound. We have 
antacid tablets. This is a compound. We have a soap. Soap is a compound. Soap falls under the categories of detergents. We have oxygen. Oxygen is an element. We have carbon. Carbon is an element. We have water. Water is a compound. We have magadi, soda, which is a mixture. We have already done some of these questions before. So we proceed to the next uh, question. The next question we have reads, a student mixed iron filings with sulfur powder in a watch glass. The mixture was heated and a new substance is formed. Whenever a new substance is formed, then that kind of change becomes a chemical change. So the question asks if this is this a physical or a chemical change? Since a new substance is formed, then whatever change we are discussing here is a chemical change. We go to part B of that same, same question. Give two reasons for the support or to support your answer in A above. One of the reasons is that we have seen a new substance is formed. Number two, we have been told that uh, the two were heated and therefore a lot of heat, a lot of heat is required. Is required for the change to occur. C. What name is given to the substance formed after heating sulfur and iron together? Sulfur and iron together form iron 2 sulfide. Iron 2 sulfide, which is a compound of iron and sulfur. We go to part D. If iron is cut down into small pieces, there comes a point when it cannot be cut further. What is the name of the smallest particle that still retains the properties of iron? This is an atom. Thank you for watching. And in case you come across this channel for the first time, please take one second and hit the subscription button. So that anytime we produce a video like this, you'll be given a notification.